Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode six of A Brew With You. I am your host, Blake Mickle, accompanied by Danny. Wait a minute. You're not Danny. Nope. You're not Danny. Almost. Everyone, I have a special guest tonight. Danny is occupied with uh, a lot of things going on with his life, and ironically, it is his birthday today. We'll get back to that in a Happy second. Happy birthday, Danny. Yes, we will. We'll get back to that. Um, but I am sitting next to the the titan of triathlons, the 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 bearded lumberjack right now, uh, the trying, one and only, trying, the yeah. one and only Jeff Stewart. How Hello. are you doing, Jeff? Oh. Hello, everyone. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I hear it. I hear it. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing great. How doing are you? Good. I'm I'm doing fantastic. Um, you know, you are um, my very very f- first guests. I mean, you're. A host today. I feel honored. I do. Uh, you, uh, Danny uh, has something going on. Uh, well, he's got a lot going on. A lot of transition going on in his life right now. Good stuff, but, you know. Um, and that happens, you know. A lot of shows. Some people have vacation. Some people going on, so they have a special guest, someone. So, um, this is the start of my fame. Yes, it is. Once I go start on, of your once bearded I go on, fame. Yeah, not, I don't know. I might shave this, might shave this tonight. We'll see. Is that right? We'll see. We'll see. Are you going to do it on the show? <laughs> uh, yeah, and I cut myself everywhere. <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. Oh, no. um, so, yeah. Um, Little history. Jeff and I were in a beer club back in the day. We were. That was a, oh man, that was a long time. That ago. That was a long time ago. And I missed those days. Yeah, Jeff and I were friends. We've been friends for a while now, and um, yeah. we've uh, always liked to partake in a, a, a tasty beverage. Yep. And um, this was uh, a couple podcasts ago. I talked about knowing um, the brewmaster to two brothers, and I actually met him through Jeff. Yeah, my uh, my best friend Eric is a brewmaster there at uh, at Two Brothers, and. That's pretty much where I started off my craft brew. So, I uh, he showed me the ropes. Yeah. Showed me. I mean, when I was roommates with him in college. He used oh, to, I didn't know that. Oh yeah, he used to brew it all in our in our in our apartment. So <laughs> That's it, would, awesome. it would smell like crazy. But hey, you know, you know, a couple weeks later, you got to drink what you brew. So oh, cool. Well, I want to continue this for a second. But yeah. as you know, if you don't know the show, uh, we uh, try a new beer, the beer that we've never had uh, before. Neither uh, either me or the guest or Danny have had before. And we try it, and we rate it at the end of the show. Um, and the person who brings the beer, the other one person brings the beer. The other person picks where we drink. If you're watching uh, YouTube, you'll see what we're drinking. Uh, so Jeff had the option to say where we're going to drink or bring the drink. So he brought the brew today. But first, I'm going to say where we're drinking. Okay. In a couple days, uh, because we have a black screen behind us, and it's been almost three minutes of just a black screen right now. So we're going to go into the place. Snap your fingers and it goes somewhere. We're going to do it together, buddy. Okay. Um, in a couple couple uh days i think two days yeah on wednesday is veterans day right i think it's tomorrow tuesday the, is it, i thought it was the 11th what's today the 9th you could be right i think so okay carry the two yes yeah well since it's veterans day okay. you know um, it's veterans you know, week it's veterans week you know yeah. we all in the nfl it's like every day they're celebrating and you know we got to support the veterans absolutely uh, get some military in your family or anything i do i yes. did yeah. me too yeah. um I think a lot of people do. Most people do, I say. So I want to um, drink <laughs> on an aircraft carrier. Oh. I want to drink on an aircraft a carrier. A military one? A military aircraft nice. carrier. So on the count of three, we say aircraft carrier. You ready for that? Let's do it. One, two, three. Aircraft, aircraft carrier. carrier. Not bad. Nice. Not bad. I like Very comfortable very, in here. Yeah. I thought it was going to be more crammed. Yeah. Well, you're on the open sea. That's true. With yeah. the gulls and the F-22s. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that means. Jeff, what'd you bring us today? So today, um, I went to Temperance Brewery in Evanston, mm. Illinois. It's a small brew. Um, kind of a cool place. I went in there and uh, very hipster-like. A lot of wood Is everywhere. Is that right? Yeah. Oh. A lot of wood ev- everywhere. It's kind of out of a s- small warehouse in the in the back of you mm-hmm. know like a factory and stuff like that. So... I think they're still trying to build their own name and stuff like that. So it's the brewery's Temperance. Uh, the beer is a Restless Years, a pale ale with rye. Oh, okay. So, We've had uh, one pale ale on this show. Okay. Again, it's only been, this is only the sixth episode. So we had a um, a half acre. Uh, oh, it was nice. called Gone Away. It's kind of big right now. That's but a good brew. Actually, I think it was our least favorite beer we've had on the show. Really? Um, it was, it was a, like what we said. I remember what we said. Danny and I are, and I'm very interested to see when at the end of this podcast how we rate this because Danny and I are very, we're, I think, f- five for five of being like a half star off from each other in our ratings. We're so close to each other. I'm curious how. So when you're saying you guys like the same brew like that often? Yeah. Okay. Like we're, are we rate, we have a very similar taste palette, I guess, or we, we have the same feeling towards beer because the Gone Away was our lowest rated beer. I think we each gave it around like two and a half oh, out okay. of five. And 
So that's the lowest, two and a half. I think so it was far. our lowest we've ever had. I feel yeah. good about this one. I've had a couple other beers from them. And okay. They've been really, really good. Um, so we'll, we'll try this one out. Let's try it out, and we'll talk a little bit more about it. All right. All right. Let, for Danny's sake, he likes doing this right in front of the mic. Yeah. Oh, that was good timing good right one. there. That was good. Oh, yeah. Connie's here, too, everyone. Hi, Connie. Connie. <laughs> <laughs> She's watching, judging. Look yes. at the baby. Look at yes, the baby. Yes. She's her first audience member I on the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right. And we got cheering. Uh, this is, uh, let's cheer this for Danny uh, for his birthday. In, uh, Happy Polish, birthday, Danny. In Polish, we say stolat. In English, we say happy birthday. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Stole that. Ooh. Well, that's nice. That is very crisp is the best it word. Is a, crisp, crisp. a crisp beer. Good, good clean finish. That is probably the least palest pale ale I've ever had. There is, you know, you have, I always, com- I think the, the. It must be the rye in it. Maybe. Because it's the pale ale with rye. Maybe. So maybe a little more smooth. Jeez, this is like a this is almost like a summer beer. It is it really feels. good. It, you know, most IPAs or pale ales are they're a little bit heavier, a little bit hoppier. Um, but this is very. This is really good. I like the description on the back. Hints of pure joy. Yeah, I'm I'm very I, joyous I right now. I taste this joy, and it's really good. Wow. So yeah, small brewery. They're they're making their way through there. So yeah. Now, just correct me if I'm wrong. Um, Evanston is that isn't that where Northwestern is? It is. It yeah, is. Yeah. Okay. So the college kids got a little treat here, huh? They do there's actually three breweries in in Evanston, Illinois. Work hard, play hard, right? huh? It's small town, and they like to drink. Yeah. And a couple distilleries up there. Hey, you know they're they're a bunch of smarties up there. Right? So um, they know what they're doing. What's the other breweries up there? No, not, not put you on the uh, spot. <laughs> there is um, Sketchbook Brewery. I was actually going to swing by there today, but I think they're closed on Mondays. They're only open like Thursday through Sundays. It's like a theater company. And they're, uh, it, that's part of the reason why they called it Sketchbook is because they, they, a lot of like, they wanted to inspire like hints of ideas. People mm-hmm. write their notes and stuff like that. So same thing with how they, they brew their ingredients. They're writing their notes down and then brewing it. And, they're, and they're, it's like in a back alley somewhere. And they don't really? even sell it um, in cans, I don't think. I think they only sell it in... Um, what are those half growlers called? Bombers. I think they're called bombers. Oh, bombers. Yeah. Well, bombers yeah. are like pretty much what Pipeworks does. It's the it's like the wine bottle of beer. Right. It's like only twenty something ounces, thirty six. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's I um. There's a lot of brewers that just do that yeah. now. I think. No, I don't think Pipeworks does that. I don't know. I think Pipeworks does cans as well, but they have a ton of bombers. Um, well, like in uh, like Goose Island, like if you get Sophie or Matilda, they can do those bombers. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just always thought they always did the 64-ounce growlers, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, um, Could be wrong. That's the only other one I know. I know there's one other one in Evanston. You Can't know, that's one, it, that's one thing that like, I'm really surprised you and I, especially Danny and I, have not done is really travel to see some breweries and um, there's a million of i know them everywhere. And, and but not just that good ones too yeah. i mean i, I was telling I don't, a couple podcasts ago i was saying to danny i went um to one of the bells oh in Michigan. Man, that was fantastic that was a i was just it's so funny because i again i'm pr- repeating myself but there was um the brewery was just huge and it was clean yeah. like it was just this really polished up very and very just great mm-hmm. I, it just felt clean is the best way to put it and, just beautiful wood structures, and they had like a what do they call those uh, those uh, roofs that have like the greenhouse on top, the green roofs. Oh, I don't know. okay. So they like do like the vegetables and stuff up there. And yeah, like- and it's also like they get you get. I think it's in Chicago too. If you have a, um, if you do, if you have like a greenhouse on your roof, you get okay. deducted uh, taxes or something like that, or, or on your building uh, because you're doing helping the environment. Nice, I guess. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I've heard really good things about Bells. I've been there. I haven't been there, but I've been like 45 minutes away, and I'm always like, eh, should I do the detour and go there? And yeah, I just never made the drive. But there's actually heard a, good things. I mean, it's Michigan too, and there's a ton of good uh, vineyards out Tons, there too. Really good on vineyards. The yeah, south west coast and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, my dad's a big wine guy. Um, I I know I can. You know, I, I'm okay with wine. I mean, right. I like wine. It's just I, I don't know much about it, and there's a. It, I feel that beer is a little bit more casual. I feel like, you know, just beer is now this new, it's like the new wine in a way. It's the next big, big thing. And plus so many restaurants now are, they're pairing the food with the beer. Yeah. Like they do with the wine too. So usually you can go and get like a Pinot Noir or or a white wine with the fish and stuff like that. But now you can actually go and get like a steak and they'll pair it with the brew. I would love to try that. Oh, I've never had, like, I would like to have like a, like here, a little story. Um, I was very fortunate a couple years ago. I went to, which was rated the number one restaurant in the world, uh, Alinea. 
Oh, nice. It's like Where 200. Is it located? It's located on Halstead. It's right across the street from Steppenwolf, Steppenwolf Theater. Okay. Um, Halstead and um, right there Armitage, Lincoln, like Sheffield Lincoln and Park. Armitage. Yeah, Lincoln Park. Um, I think they're moving now to Spain. Wow. Um, Fancy. But, yeah. But uh, that was the very first. I love, I love that experience. Like it, It's one of those things. I, I'm happy I did. It was like $275 a plate. I mean, it was, it was, it was, I mean, it's the most, it was the best restaurant in the world, you know? And it was just this one thing, like, it's a cool thing to say. I did, did you get a that. massage with that? Hell yeah. No, I did not get a massage. <laughs> Happy ending. <laughs> <laughs> Anything? It was, it, no. Mm, 200, mm. <laughs> $270 yeah. a plate. You better get something. You better get like a, your own personal a high serving five? from that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For a Jeez. high five. Yeah, for real. It was, um, but I mean, like it's the, when you consider the best restaurant in the world, you can charge those prices. And also, I mean, the wait lists are big. And It's not like time. you do it every weekend. It's a, yeah, kinda, you don't, and exactly. It's, it's one of those a, things, right. I'm just happy I did. But the, what I like about the story though is it was thinking it was like about 15 courses and don't, it's not as crazy you think when it, a, a course could be actually just literally a spoonful of something for a okay. course. Well, another course could actually be a plate of something plate, and, yeah. um, different desserts and, and a lot of it's, you know, presentation. It's very yeah. foofy, foofy, blah, blah, blah. Um, but it was, it was an awesome experience and I don't regret it. But the, 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 I'm bringing up though is relating this to what wine is what we're talking about is it was the very first time in my life where I actually, the, the uh, waiter, we had a, a glass of wine or a, a, a portion of wine with every plate that came down. Oh, nice. So, so it really paired it up with each different First time in life where through, I okay. actually knew what it was like to actually pair it up. You nice. know, when they just say, oh, you know, if you have uh, steak, you have a red wine or you have fish, you have white wine. Like, yep. okay, whatever. But this was like this type of specific wine. Yeah, from this, dish. from this region, this grape with this dish. And Holy cow. And it, it was, it, it was just, it, was, it blew my mind. Like it, this pairs yeah. like i understood what pairing yep. is because it complemented so well and it was just an eye opener and so yeah i paid a lot of money that one night but what holy cow it was such an eye opener for future things and now they're doing it with beer yeah so and i know two brothers actually does it on valentine's day night they actually have like a set menu with their beer and they pair the different foods with the oh wow we gotta do the that beer and stuff like that so you know, we gotta like, go back to the old stomping grounds yeah go back to warrenville oh yeah it's it stinks that um uh, the brewmaster. I don't know if I want to drop his name, but uh, <laughs> I mean that's the thing. Podcast, you know, you don't. Know, I, I mean, but um, he, um, you know, he works really early hours, right? So I, you know, I've ever, I've, the few times I've been there, I haven't seen it him. It fluctuates. I mean, obviously because it's a big brewery, they're going to need someone there all the time now because they're selling across the country. You know, when they were smaller, it was only you know maybe eighteen hours throughout the day, but now they're twenty four hour shifts, so people are working throughout the night. So, <sighs> Dang, man. I mean. When well, you're making money and the the beer calls, so they're brewing in still two locations. Two right? locations, yeah. actually th- three, I think. Now it's two in Illinois, and they expanded to Arizona. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. Two Brothers is actually one of those great examples. I mean, we we talked about. He's gonna be happy that we're talking. Yeah, about we this. are. Yeah, we've I've talked. The only thing I bet spoke ill about Two Brothers, and I actually brought it up to him personally. Like I was not, you know, I do graphic design and all that visuals. I was like, I was not happy with the whole with the graphic change. Yeah, I was not happy with that. I was. Like, I know. I was. Uh, you guys had something better, I thought. Which but. is funny because it seems like you know, even looking at this can or mm-hmm. all the cans out there or bottles out there, it feels like everyone's doing like this whole graphic mess of things. And yeah, two, and Two Brothers went really simple. So they wanted to stand out in the shelf, I think, for what I heard. But yeah, it, it, well, it's not but everyone, bad. It's like, just I feel like yeah. this stands out a little bit more. Like you know, it's got a skateboard on it and all these different graphics. I mean, look at Three Floyd's graphics. I mean, oh, it's Three all Floyd's messy is, and bloody and all the, these different. Some things. of it is, yeah. I mean, it's just loud and and it's vibrant is the best word. Yeah. Like, I mean, I think it's. I, I mean, I'm, you know, if this goes on for a while, this show, I'm going to do a top ten list of my beers and I, I this one has to be in my top in the zombie dust oh yeah and that uh, that cover you know that's a great cover though i mean for their whole marketing campaign and their imagery i think that that one it's it's very you know gruesome and, and it's like a hologram at the same time but it's also simple at the same time because it's just that one figure you that, should compare your top 10 beers to the top 10 and where, where they rate in the artwork too Okay. Oh, yeah. To that'd see be fun. if you like the beer better based on the artwork, too. <laughs> you never know. You might think it's you know really really good beer, but you actually just like the art better or something. Yeah. Like that. So you could do like a top ten of your beers and then top ten of the art and compare. It. That'd be interesting. Yeah. I'm just throwing it out there. Big deal lists <laughs> from Big Deal Blake. This guy gave me the name Big gave Deal Blake. Name. This guy right here. It was on yeah. your birthday, I think, what? a year or two ago. Was it my birthday? You were just talking about your fantasy football team, and it was. 
everything was so big it's and huge big and I'm going to win. And I just said, you know what? Everything's a big deal with you. It's Damn right. Big deal, Blake. That's right. It's a story. It is a big deal because of me. Um, <laughs> uh, what was I going to say? Um, um, so, yeah, I remember when we did this beer club, uh, when we worked together, um, you introduced me to Three Floyds, I remember. I, I think I did, too. I think it was the Sawtooth or something no, like no, that. No, no, no. I know what it was. It was Jinx. Oh, it was Jinx. Jinx. It was Jinx. Jinx yeah. proof. I and that's a funny thing. I remember when I had that the first time, I was blown away. And I've had it recently, and I was like, "Oh, it's okay." I didn't. It's. I guess my well, palate changed. Your changed. Yeah. It was one of the first probably craft beers that you. Maybe that's, not the first, but you know, it was. We probably did that six years ago now. It's so been a while. Things have changed since then. You you kind of grew like into different beers. That's true. That was a great club. I mean, we did. I think we had six members. We only brought a with six, Connie. With Connie. Hey, Connie. We didn't forget about you. But we just had one member. Bring a six pack of something you've never tried before, similar to this, but everyone just shared one beer, that six pack. And that know. was great. I thought it was going to have one beer. We did and that I mean, for like a year and we tried so many new beers. Did. It was ridiculous. I actually did that uh, when I was still with the company and I got transferred to the Chicago office. I actually did that again with the group that was there. Those guys were really good guys. Um, they weren't, it was, it's weird. I don't have to go into it, but there was a group of guys there. Yeah. And we did the same thing there. But this one guy, he was just so, he was the nicest guy. And he just insisted on buying the beer every week. And he just kept on buying, growl- like he bought us all, he bought like three growlers a week. And then nice. just, just okay. And we just, every Thursday, like during if you like buy three o'clock, week, we're like, all right. <laughs> it had the thirsty Thursdays. Remember that? And then oh, we yeah. just, but we like, like did it for two hours. <laughs> yeah. It was supposed to be for 10 minutes. We extended yeah. it to like we're 10 like PM. Dr- drinking like 10% alcohol yeah. beers. And, ah. and that yeah. was fun. That Actually, was at my fun. work now, we did a growler night so we we have a roof on our company at the company building so we all went up on the roof and everyone brings a growler and two friends are you serious yeah so we had probably like 30 40 people and then maybe 15 or so different growlers oh wow and then you just try out same thing you just try a bunch of different beers and stuff like that that's awesome and even like once a month they actually do a bike club They, they actually ride their bikes to work and then i'm anti-bike their... so i'm not interested in that but then they ride their bike <laughs> to the brewery of temperance and then have oh, a couple cool. beers so yeah, you really don't cool. drink and drive you can ride and drive see is that better though probably not just as dangerous it's just, just it, as dangerous. It, it, it's, it's i feel that's worse than yeah <laughs> especially in chicago <laughs> yeah i mean it's dangerous to ride in the streets of chicago already when you're already going like this and you're having a couple For beers real. it's probably not too brutal good. I, I remember uh, this was actually recently brought up to my memory that um oh this happened a while ago but this idea came up in my memory that uh bill murray i think he was in sweden and got a dui on a golf cart oh yeah that's <laughs> awesome if you're gonna I, do it that's the way I to do like, it what a, what, it even makes him more legendary yeah. <laughs> oh my god so good you have to laugh at that you think the cop was laughing at that oh i'm sure yeah uh, and like, right I think it's like we have laughing. to do it he probably had to do it too and he's like i don't want to but i yeah. have to do this yeah. right now um so <laughs> we'll end this now uh just shooting this shit right now um jeff's got a topic i got a topic um also, I just wanted to point out, you know, the Bears game's coming on in about a half hour here or so. 21 minutes. And I just realized I got the blue microphone. You got an orange bears. microphone. We got some bear color microphones going on right now. Yep, we're wearing bears. The bears. <laughs> That's why the Bears gear going on right now. And also, I have to apologize to Jeff that my heat just went down. We are in Chicago. We are approaching the winter, and the heat is starting to, uh, I mean, the, 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 the chills are starting to, to, to creep in now, and my heat went down. But it's not too bad. It's not bad. It's, it's not, not too bad. It's, it's like 65 it's, in my apartment right now. It's comfortable. You got a heavy jersey on too. Yeah, I'm fine. wearing the layers. It's all about layers. Yeah. That's that's keep warm. It's all about the layers. Take that away. If you get anything, take that away. Yeah, I actually, you know what I do? No, you'd be proud about this. This is going to lead into one of the, the my, my topic. I don't okay. know whose topic is going to be uh, first here, but lead in. Uh, you know what I've been doing the last two weeks is I walk to work now and I walk oh, back. Nice. Yeah, I don't, I, I, I can't run to work because I'm carrying a, a big backpack and also you should see just from me walking how much I sweat by the time I get in the yeah. office, just from walking. I walk about, it's about two and a half, three mile walk. Oh, one, that's a one pretty way. good walk. Yeah. So it's about an hour for me. Okay. And so. Even in the cold? And that, well, yeah. I, did, did I mean, today. it's not too cold today. No, I did today. Yeah. We'll you, see how it goes. Are you going to continue in the winter? We'll see. I mean, yeah. if it gets, I mean, if it's cold, I probably will. But if it, I mean, well, if we're talking, you know, negative 10, like, sure. no, screw that. But if we're talking, um, I probably, if it's like negative 10, if it's also like a foot of snow, where it's just going to take me two, two hours, hours to walk. Yeah. yeah. I mean, screw that. Do you normally take public trains then? Oh yeah. And that's me. That was one of the, re- there was two reasons why, because I've been doing so many, this project and my job and everything like that. I haven't had exercise as much as I want. So I'm like, I'm just going to walk to work. So, I mean, it's about five, six miles. So that's something at least. Oh yeah. But 
I mean, that's a couple hundred calories, and if yeah. you're good, you're working up a sweat. Yeah, and that's why I have that's why I have the bag because I have a change of clothes in there. Because by the time I get to the office, I'm just I'm, I'm don't want to stink up the place. But that's the thing. I'm. <laughs> it's not even because like I'm out of shape or anything. Well, I'm kind of out of shape, but I mean, I'm I'm not super out of shape. And but I've always been a sweaty person. I've just I think I was the fourth sweatiest boy in my high school class. Fourth was it, sweatiest. Guy. You were rated that. Yes, yeah, some girl rated the sweatiest guys, and I think I was number four. It's like the graduation. I mean, you got the most successful, the mm-hmm. cutest, and you were the the sweatiest. You know, if I'm sure yes. it would have made the yearbook, but you know, I'm sure the yearbook uh, captain, president, whoever took it out. So <laughs> probably uh, I owe him one. So. Nice. All right, Jeff. We're gonna uh, start on with our next topic here All right. right now. All right. Cool.